Hello, what you're looking here is an iPhone 4 battery connector. This is the original battery connector that is used in your uh, iPhone 4. This is the same iPhone 4 battery connector. Be careful when you buy these, uh, if you don't buy from cyberdogllc.com. Um, iPhone 4 and iPhone 4s have very similar connector. In experienced sellers or re retailers, that they usually don't know the difference and they get mixed up very often. So if you want to buy this battery connector and if you're not buying from CyberDog LC, just be careful with buy from experience um, or someone who know what they're selling. Anyways, this is an iPhone 4 battery connector. We, this is the original and we buy them in plastic packaging so they, they not like used or anything, they're brand new. Some also retailer, I noticed that um, they sell used connector that's uh, quite, that's rejected from quality control. So what you want to look for when you buy these connectors, first you want to, these all have to be new and they have to be in plastic container. You have four pins here, these are plated by gold, 14k gold. And there's two separate pins down here, they, they, these are retainer soldering joints, these are very important, they have to be there. Some of them are missing if you buy from other sellers, but since our connectors are brand new, these are not missing, these are, these are needs to be there. These two little gold pins here. You need to solder these on, but before you do soldering this connector on, which you can watch from our uh, repair video which shows you how to do this. You need a piece of a uh, low melting solder for desoldering, and we will include a piece for you. That's just enough for this repair. Quick alloy. It's recyclable. So what happened is this alloy is gonna be melting at about uh, less than 100 degrees Celsius, so about 90 degrees Celsius. You want to mix this with the old solder. So what you do, you watch our video for more information of, of this repair. You just put this on top and then use the soldering iron. Remember there's two joints, you want to desolder these two. Throughout the repair, um, you want to use good quality no cling flux. We include we include three cc of uh, CyberDock no cling flux for you to do this repair. You don't need all three cc of it, you really only need less than a cc for this repair, I imagine. Probably half a cc is smaller enough. But rest of this flux you can use in other repairs. And this is what you'll be getting in this kit. You'll be getting the original iPhone 4 battery connector, quick alloy for desoldering, and more than enough flux for this is probably good for like 10 or 20 repairs here. Thank you for watching.